Hello, this is Ben with another update for Mysterious Space. I haven't done one in a long time, and I was not going to do one, but videos are fun, so I thought I'd go to just go ahead and do it. Um, anyway, so I, I, uh, what I have done here is I wanted to show off water and lava planets, so I just kept generating new games until I saw both uh, water and lava planets, uh, and and then. You know, I, I played through the first level just so you guys wouldn't have to watch the whole thing. Uh, there are also ice planets in the game now, uh, which are like these these white ones. Um, but uh, there's not, I mean, they look different. You know, they look kind of cool. Uh, no pun intended. Goodness. Uh, but they don't have any cool new mechanics to show off. So, whereas water ones do. So let's just hop right on a water planet. Let me turn down the noise because, as usual, it's probably too loud. Um, all right. So the water's animated, and it's hard to tell, but check that out. So you can see the wa the bullets that I shoot outside the water move faster than the ones inside the water. Uh, and that's true of the player as well. The speed difference is not huge for water, it is huger for lava. Uh, they both have rainbow bullets, rainbow guns. Um, but yeah, you move a little slower in water as is everything else. We also have these wonderful little bubbles now. And that's really what has been changed about water bubbles. That's the thing to show. Well, I love when there are these swarms in the bubbles. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and beat this level, and I will show off the lava levels as well, because you move slower, and there's also a little bit of mechanical nonsense. Um, but actually, something else I think I didn't really talk about in the change log for this version, which I probably should have. Um, let me think about how to say this. So, it used to be that if you're... Like, suppose you had a shield that you gained a point every second, which is slower than any shield, but, uh, you know, that's easy to example. One point per second. If you found something, you know, like an alien artifact that doubles your shield regenerate, what used to happen is that meant that now you regenerated two points per second, but it actually did it as two points every one second, rather than one point every 30 seconds. That's been changed, and I didn't put this in the change log. Uh, and again, I probably should have. But so now you actually get one point every 30 seconds or whatever uh, when your shield regen is doubled. And that's important uh, for reasons that will become clear when we do the lava level. Um, and I was kind of hoping that it would take long enough to ramble about that that I would get to the lava level uh, just as there. Oh look, I already have the... What am I doing? See, I'm talking and then not noticing that I'm, I have all my fuel. So let's get out of here. And I'll see the mini-map. Uh, that was in the last version, uh, which was 0.3.4. That's something else I want to talk about. So last version was like a huge, crazy update, right? Like we used to have the black bar on the top and bottom, and the UI elements were in that, uh, and shield and armor and hull were in different places. Everything was different. Like the UI when, while you're playing is totally different. Now there's a mini-map mini map and everything. So I thought I should have called that 0.4. Like I feel like that was enough... Like it didn't. It felt like very little coding, but it had a very big visual impact. I mean, the game looks totally different. So I probably should have gone up a version to, to 0 0.4 from 0 0.3, uh, but I didn't. So this one I'm calling 0 0.4.1 because I'm just going to pretend like last one was 0 0.4, even though it's uh, labeled 0 0.3.4. Uh, another change is that when you pick up equipment in a level, something that came up when when playing with Steven in the Let's Play, and, and if you watch that Let's Play. Uh, you, you'll hear us ramble about that and many other things. But he was saying that it was kind of unfortunate that you'd pick up these cool items and you'd get them during level and you'd be like, whoa, I want to equip that gun. You know, I could really use the health. Levels are hard. I need better equipment. And, you know, we thought, well, maybe I should just let you change equipment during level. Uh, you know, I was going to go that route and Steven was agreeing, but then Steven was like, well, what if you just kind of changed how things were presented? Like, if you don't know what the item is yet, then that's kind of an excuse why you can't equip it. Uh, and, and really nothing has changed, you, you, but, you're, but you're not taunting people with, like, this this cool item. Uh, you're taunting them with a mystery, and then they get to unravel the mystery, and that's fun. So here we get to unravel the mystery. Uh, you just you just use it, and, and it uh, identifies the item, and now we know it's a bomber too, which is a terrible mystery. Actually, I'm not going to equip that. Um, <laughs> something the bomber doesn't tell you is the bullets it shoots fire downward always, which is uh, a little lame. Something else that happened is we didn't used to see... Uh, these messages. Thank goodness those are finally there. Let's go into the lava level. Lava level. So uh, you can probably see like you, the speed difference is, is really noticeable. Uh, so lava sucks. 
The other thing is you can see in the upper left there, it's flashing lava next to my shield. And that is because, let's not take full damage on this guy. Uh, you do not recover shields while you're in the lava. And this is where that funny regen rate thing comes into play. Uh, I wanted it to be so that if you use items that increase your regen rate, that increase still applies. Um, so what's actually happening now is, you know, like I mentioned, it's um, once every... Whatever, you know, so the point is if you use an, a regenerating... A, a shield regenerate, regenerate speed boost, or however you word that, um, you'd essentially have normal shield regeneration instead of no shield regeneration, which is what happens right now. I thought about making it so that there was a... Uh, you know how, like, in lots of games you, you go swimming and it's like, oh, here's your air bar. I thought about having an air bar, or, or rather a heat bar. I didn't want it for water. I was like, dude, it's a spaceship, it's a future. You should be cool with, uh, with water, at least. Um, so I didn't want to do an air bar, but I thought I should do a lava bar. I wanted lava levels to be kind of scary. Um, so I was going to do a heat bar kind of thing, where if you stayed down here too long, then you would start to get hurt. And then I was like, well, maybe you can have it consistently deal your shield. I was like, deal damage. I was like, well, if it's damaging your shield consistently, really that means you don't have a shield. And, and, and then I thought, yeah, let's just let's just do that. Let's just make it so your shield doesn't regenerate. And so here we are. Shield doesn't regenerate uh, while you're in lava. Although, again, anything that would double your shield regen rate would restore it to normal. Um, and that's not really explained in the game, but I think it'll be... I don't know, that's something you figure out by playing. I think that's fine, and it does blink that word lava next to your shield to indicate to you that something wrong is going on. So let's see if I have anything that does increase... Nope. Oh, that's terrible to happen in lava. See, I'm really happy. So, um, one thing that Stephen w was saying also uh, is he really wanted... He thought that there should be different mechanics on different types of planets where, to, to make you actually think about what you're doing. Um, and, ooh. Um, you know, I was saying, well, I'm going to get different types of monsters when, when you get to different planets. Uh, but I just don't have enough enemies in the game yet to, to do that, but eventually I will. And he said, yeah, different enemies is neat, but, you know, what if you get different equipment or something? Uh, and so I'm not, I wasn't... I don't know, I had this notion of, well, why not go slower in water, and well, why not lava levels, where, uh, you know, and I w initially I was just thinking, well, water will make you slower, that's kind of neat, that's not really that much, it's not that different, but this lava thing is interesting, and actually, ha so having used that alien artifact and have your shield reduced to zero, that's really bad, actually, to have happen in lava, and, and that's different than in other levels, right? So I'm, I'm happy that the interaction plays out a little different. Um, it, it makes the mechanics different. Good, good. I, that's evidence that this is a great idea to me. Um, and hopefully there will be other other things that can do this. Um, other things that either other ways that, you know, lava levels are different uh, because of existing things will play together in interesting ways I didn't c consider. Or I can create more types of levels that, that change things. In way. That, that would definitely be cool. And, and I am certainly... Uh, you know, if I get any sort of notion on how to do that, I'm going to run with it because it makes the game more interesting. Uh, right now, I mean, you might notice, why would you even go to a lava level, you know, if you could help it? If you have a choice, you're never going to do a lava level because they're bad. And that's true. I think that they really need to be forced. Um, but I, I think it's neat to, to be like, uh-oh, here's a nasty challenge. Now you got to deal with the lava level. And so I considered maybe always on Sector 6, it's always just one lava level, and that's the only lava level or something like that. I might go go that kind of route and, and more precisely control some aspects of, of sector generation. Um, I, I mean, another reason being that if you start a game and you look at the map and you're like, oh my god, I have to do three lava levels and I can't do anything about it just because of random numbers, you might just quit and reset. And that's kind of stupid, like, if, if it's going to put the, you in that short, sort of situation, it, it just shouldn't. It shouldn't put you in that situation where you just say, never mind this game, because that's nonsense. Um, so, yeah, so I'll have to think about that. It's also possible, you know, I, I feel like what would be even more ideal is if every planet was just different in different ways, and maybe lava planets had some good things about them. Maybe you could only find... You know, maybe we could do the equipment route and be like, well, you only find the Nova equipment, you know, on lava planets. That would be cool. And so maybe there's a reason to go there because Nova stuff is better. It's not currently, but, you know, we could make it better or, or those fragmenting weapons or, or something. You know, there, there could be rewards for, for the risks. I think that would be good. So then it's more a choice of do you want to take an easy thing, but you don't get cool stuff, or do you want to take the greater risk, but get the greater stuff? And that's an interesting choice, right? So something. I, I've got to do something to make it, you know, right now lava levels are just bad. There's no reason to take them. 
that that can't be true in the long run. So that's something I'll continue to think about. And something I was starting to say earlier, but, but got sidetracked, is uh, it would also make sense too if all the levels were just dangerous in different ways, and you chose the kind of danger you want you wanted to deal with. You're like, all right, you know, my particular play style or or my particular skills, I feel comfortable with lava levels. I can deal with lava levels. I don't want to deal with forests because forests have whatever nonsense that in this theoretical future they would have. Um, so you know, you'd make those sorts sorts of choices. That would be cool too. Anyway. Uh, this is out, version 0.4.1 is out, uh, so download it and play it and tell me what you think. And uh, for the rest of the weekend, I don't know what I'm doing. It's Memorial Day weekend, and I had zero plans because I didn't really know it was coming until the last minute. I don't pay attention to these things. Uh, so maybe I'll work more on Mysterious Space or or not. But, but regardless, the reason I was saying all that is, will there be another version and when? Uh, there will be. Uh, that part's easy. When? Yeah, as usual, I guess I don't know. Um, but the whole Memorial Day weekend thing, I guess I was getting at, is maybe I'll work on it uh, during Memorial Day itself on Monday. I guess we'll find out together, or I'll find out myself, and then you'll hear about it later. I'm, why am I rambling about this nonsense? Go play the game. I'm done. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Goodbye.